everyone, my name is Cuffy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, or welcome to the new story arc of Brothers Rivalry. So I just got done recording Aspen's uh, first two episode playthrough, and I will not tell you what happened, <laughs> but uh, it was definitely tough because Hubby challenged me to play on accurate setting. So. Like you will have seen in Aspen's first episode, we have mate set to permadeath and our difficulty is on accurate. I am genuinely concerned for our sweet, sweet Mikhail, who has been so close to his parents, so loving of his mom. His stats scare the crap out of me, guys. <laughs> but I want our white-chested wolf to succeed so badly. <laughs> So I'm going to do my best. Um, obviously, he's super healthy, as you can see. He has a plus two in health. He is pretty strong, which is kind of awesome, but his stamina is scary and his speed terrifies me as well, mainly because if we get caught in another wolf's territory and they chase us, the likelihood of us getting away is really low and they do lots of damage, um, especially if we're outnumbered. So we are playing on um, an Iron Wolf-like setting. We're not actually using the Iron Wolf setting because I don't want to lose saves. But if any of our brothers die, that's it. And then whoever survives is the heir. But I want to see them play all the way through. I, I want to see both of our boys succeed, even though there can only be one true heir. I want to see them both have a beautiful family and raise their pups and get mates. Okay, so we are in scent view here and it looks like all of the scents are coming from... Mm. I've never seen it look so bare before. <laughs> Usually when I start out there are scents everywhere and I only smell other wolves. Oh, I smell elk that way and that's where we go. All right, Mikhail, you've got this. You're super healthy. Your stamina is poop, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll make it work. At least you can bite pretty hard. Ooh, a bun bun. But we want to follow the elk. <laughs> Distracted. All right, hopefully this is not leading us into another wolf's territory. It's not, thank goodness. That, that brings me so much joy. All right, so Mikhail has the scent of their hoof prints. This is good. They're a bit far away. I did check the map to see which direction they go in, and it looks like it's headed straight into another pack's territory. So I'm trying to decide if that's a risk worth taking. Um, I don't, you know, I don't see Mikhail being the brute. He's more about just wanting to survive, I believe. So, oh, we are in luck, though. This is good. This is really good. Okay. Don't screw this up. <laughs> All right. Let's see how you are, Mama. Oh, you're, you are booking it. That's for sure. Oh, nope. We're going to let you go. You are just too healthy for us. How about you? Mm, yep. Too healthy. Too healthy. We're trying to go for the easiest. Oh, they ran that way. So we already bit her. Oh, crap. Where'd they go? Then they went. <laughs> Oh, we're so slow. <laughs> we are the slowest of slow. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll figure this out, Mikhail. We can do this. This is just going to be a battle of uh, patience, is what this is going to be. Definite patience. Just please don't run into another Pax territory, please. I'm begging. Okay, I just I just want to see. I just I just want to see it. Nope. Okay. Ow! Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Jerk, she stepped on us. Okay, what about you? Or you? Wow, this is the healthiest herd I've ever seen in my life, and now we're in another Pax territory. Great. This is not good. And they're just headed straight into it, which is not smart, because other wolves can just get them, so... Maybe there's a calf that's not healthy since the moms are so healthy. Maybe they haven't been taking care of their calves as well. 
That could be a lucky a lucky spin on it. Oh, your stamina. I what? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh, Mikhail. Oh, you sweet boy. Oh, his stamina just doesn't recover as well either. Oh, this herd is just too healthy. And I seriously doubt this guy is going to be low. Even if he is, I would not risk that. Mm -mm. Not even a little. Oh, we could try and take her. But it's going to take some time. And we're probably going to get chased out of here before we get there. Okay, patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Just keep going. One, two, and that's all she wrote. <laughs> At least we won't get kicked because we don't have enough stamina to do it. Okay, so we kind of got her to slow down, at least to stop for a minute, which means we might be able to at least recover our stamina. Our health is not good, though. So we're going to have to be careful and just, like, call our shots really well. Oh, no mama. Oh, we hooked onto her. I'm so nervous a wolf is going to show up out of nowhere and just going to cause us all kinds of problems. Whoop! Ooh, did we dodge that? Barely. Oh, come on. Come on, Mikhail. You need to get this and get out. Go! Oh, yes! Oh, gosh! <laughs> I could cry. You guys, that took so long. I'm sure I'm going to have to cut out most of that because all I could really do was just keep on her back as much as possible and pray that other wolves did not show up. Okay, the good news is, though, um, I can take a meat chunk from this. All right. Oh, good job, buddy! Okay, this this is picture-worthy, I believe. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good, good job. I'm so proud. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a moment and uh, check off uh, cow elk. <laughs> so as I've said before, one of uh, Mikhail's goals is that he's going to taste every single creature. So I have a checklist of all the creatures that can be eaten. And the only one that I did separate as far as like not doing bull elk, cow elk, you know, or like um, I did a mule buck and a mule doe and those are going to be separate. But for moose, I just put moose because <laughs> inaccurate, we're not hunting any mooses. <laughs> Mises. Moose. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get Mikhail the heck out of this Pax territory and a place for him to nap because his health is so bad. <laughs> All right, so I got Mikhail to the river. He's gonna take a little sip of water here. So I think for Mikhail, the big difference between him and Aspen is Aspen absolutely feels like he has something he needs to prove. He needs to prove that he deserves to be the heir. And it's not that Mikhail doesn't feel that, but he's more focused on if I can survive, then perhaps it will just work out for me. But I don't think that he's going to really be much of a fighter. I definitely see him as being more of a lover than a fighter. He fights if he has to, but only if he has to. All right. Gonna take a bite of that meat chunk and let him 
rest some more because that was a long, long battle. I can tell you when he grows up and he gets to get those three points from aging, I'm going to balance out some things so that he has a chance. Although, um, he didn't do that bad. I'm actually pretty proud of him. Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna let him sleep again. <laughs> three times sleeping. Ugh. If we can get him back up pretty well, we might actually let him try and do another hunt and see if we can't get that second elk to move on in the storyline and get him a mate. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. But now he is hungry. What do we smell? Oh, there's a question mark. Back towards elk. We might go check that out. Aha! <laughs> we found the rusty bowl. So hopefully y'all watched Aspen's first video. Um, and if you did, he also found the rusty bowl. So I think that's really cute. It's, I'm, I'm gonna say for story's sake, maybe he smelled his brother on it and that's why he went to find it. It's because it smelled like his brother. And even though this is a rivalry to see who is the true heir, I do believe that Mikhail, being such a lover of his family, he loves his brother very much. And I don't think, even between him and, between Aspen and him, there's no, there's no hard feelings. It's just friendly rivalry, but there is still stakes to it, if that makes sense. Okay, so we are still in that other pack's territory, but I kind of want to take the risk. Even though we're slow, we're gonna do it. All right, here we are, and we're actually pretty lucky um, because we're not in another Pax territory, so I'm going to check. Okay, we're actually in the middle of the map, so that's great. This is a nice big herd, so hopefully we'll find an elk that's pretty low, not her. She wasn't too bad, but she wasn't that great. Okay. Nope, we're not going to eat bunny right now. You're moving awfully slow, dear. But you're fine, so you're just a lie. That's what you are. Okay. The herd is moving this way. Oh, Mikhail, you're so slow, baby. Come on, I need you to catch up just a wee bit. Hopefully the forest will slow them down, because otherwise this is going to take some time. All right, so we're on this cow elk's tail. She seems to be hobbling a little bit. She's not running as quickly and she's worried about her calf. So hopefully those two things will slow her down enough that we'll have a tiny bit of an advantage. And I mean a tiny bit. Like I said, tiny. <laughs> oh, come on. Ooh. Okay, so we've got her stopped. This is honestly where we thrive because of our stamina being so low. 
If she's not moving, we're not going to have a stamina problem. Ow. Okay. Come on, Mikhail. You can do it, baby. I believe in you. He's hurting a little bit, but we're not in another Pax territory, so we can take our time in taking her down. Oh, this is, this is going pretty well. Oh, until that happened, I should have backed off. Ow. Okay, now I'm just not playing very smart. <laughs> and we caught her. Oh my gosh. You know, I didn't really think about it, but maybe Mikhail has more of an advantage than I thought because his health is so good. Even though his stamina is frustrating, once you get the elk to stop, the stamina being low is not an issue so long as I'm not dumb and I'm trying to stick in there when I don't have any stamina to do it. So this is, this is actually going pretty well. And we can take a meat chunk from this. Oh, we can even sleep close by. Hopefully no predators are being mean. You guys, you want to know what's so great about this? We can try and attract a mate on the first episode. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. All right, so Mikhail's gonna howl and try and attract a female to him. Um, so let's give him a nap because he's pretty low and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's raining. I hate attracting mates at night because you can never see their coat. Not that that matters. The stars are what matter, but I uh, I do like to attract a pretty mate. <laughs> I guess that means I'm shallow. Uh, dispersal wolves ahead. Here we go. All right, we are ready. They're really angry at this cougar that's trying to eat my uh, <laughs> my carcass here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, they are really distracted with the cougar over there. Oh no! So that's a one star. That's what we don't want. Oh, <gasps> there's a four star! Okay, and what about this one? That's a one star. What? Oh! Let's see. Oh, she's pretty! She's very pretty. Let's get a closer look at her. Okay, we're gonna roll because that's all Mikhail ever did. Oh, where are you going? Come back. Don't be distracted with the cougar. Come on. You don't need to worry about it. It's gone. Don't worry about it. Come play. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's moving too fast. Do you like to sing? Maybe? Um, is she shy? <laughs> this one behind us uh, definitely wants to try us out. Oh, there we go. There's some rolling. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this and get a closer look. Oh, she's kind of brown and gray. Oh, she's very shy. Oh. oh, I kind of like her a lot. She's very pretty. Oh. Well, I definitely think we could give her a shot. Um, but this, again, like last time, this is the first set of females we've actually attracted. So I would love to give Mikhail a chance to kind of look around. Usually the females will follow you around through the map. So this probably won't be the last we see of this Canyon female. She is very young, which is good because so is Mikhail. And that means that they could stick around with each other for quite a bit of time. Whereas like Kiba and Bane, Bane being so much older, um, Bane will probably uh, pass before Kiba does. So, oh. She really likes us, too. That's very cool. All right. Well, 
If you liked this episode, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to see more and join our family. We are small, but we are mighty. <laughs> and then hit that bell if you want notifications of when I post Wolf Quest or Zoo Quest or any of our other series on the channel. Thanks again for watching. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.